All right, all three things this week, working them up with the repeat. Number one, here we go, 60. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Sixty beats per minute. One, and the volume just suddenly dropped. Okay. One, two, three. Sixty one, two, three, four. Two, 
160. That's what I always do these at. One, two, one, two, three, four. I could goof that up. One, two, one, two, three, four. Take three. Goodness. One, two, one, two, three, four. five notes to be to be thinking about when it comes to the new chords so try and use at least five strings for everything um, however like when you write out your B diminished chord that's gonna be four strings like usual and then the sixth chord that turns into that will also be four strings but when it comes to the six and nine that will have to have five strings we need all the intervals there so it's okay to think outside the box on some of these utilizing open strings so if any chord is taking like i don't know you're struggling with it for like five minutes just move on to the next one just get done what you can because some of them will be very confusing. Um, it's just the nature of those types of chords because like with sixth chords, we had that little step of you can either raise the fifth up or take the octave and lower that down. When it came to adding in a nine, like an add nine chord, we just looked for an octave of the root note and raised that up. Well, if one of your chords happens to be like you have the sixth chord and you take the octave and lower that down, well, you just lower down the thing you're going to raise up for the nine, right? So if when you build the sixth chord, if you lower the octave down, well, you can't lo raise that back up for the add nine part. So this one requires a bit more thinking. It's not uh, not a straight, easy chord to create. So just get done what you can. Right, uh, your next scale thing, two strings at a time. You can do that in a 4-4 four, four time signature. Still want to do the triplets, but you can do that in a 4-4 four, four time signature. All right, any questions, let me know. I'll see you next week.